Welcome back to P2. Today we are looking at exponential functions, unit 3.1. Now for unit 3.1, what you need to be able to do is essentially sketch any kind of exponential function. You'll also need to be able to draw these graphs accurately. Now drawing graphs accurately is really a GCSE or an IGCSE skill but it is where we will start today's video. So here I have a graph of y equals 1.5 to the power x between minus 3 and plus 3. So all I need to do here is substitute these values in to find my y. So my first one substituting 1.5 to the power negative 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this off to one decimal place. Often what I'll do is use fractions, or if not, I'll go to one decimal place, because in general it's very difficult to sketch anything more accurate than that. But as a fraction, this was 8 over 27, which is approximately 1.3. So 1.5 to the minus 2 is four ninths, which is 0 0.4 occurring, so I'm going to put 0 0.4 in. And there you have all my values. So obviously all of these are just coordinates that I need to plot. For example, that would be my first coordinate there. So what I'm going to do now is just put some graph paper up. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the x values from minus 3 to plus 3. And that is what we do on the x axis. And on the y axis, my lowest value is 0. Oh, sorry. My lowest value, I don't get anything that's negative. So we got from 0 0.3 up as high as 3.4. So I could have actually spread this out a little bit more, maybe made these a bit further apart, um, but it'll be fine for this example. So now it's a piece of plotting all these points. I like to start right at the middle here with the zero one, and then I can go either direction from here. So I want the next one minus one will be at zero point seven. So it's about there, and then we got minus 2 at 0 0.4, and minus 3 at 0 0.3. And then we've got 1, which is at 1.5, 2 is at 2.3, and then 3 is at 3.4. And that's roughly what we've got. Now, proper graph paper would make this much easier. And that's what I would certainly recommend using if you're drawing accurate graphs. Just using proper graph paper. Because just using squares isn't really going to cut it for our accurate graphs. Now, while we've got the graph paper up, and the graph drawn, sometimes you might get a question that says, what's the value of, say, 1.5x equaling, I don't know, 2? And this might be part of the question. And you can quite clearly see when you compare this to y equals 1.5x, then that means that y equals 2. And y equals 2 would be this straight line here. Okay, so when you do get something like that, it's a matter of drawing that straight line and then where it hits your graph, drawing down to the axes. And you can see here, mine roughly something like that. Uh, I would actually normally use dashed lines, but it's a little bit hard to see on this if I did so we've got something around 1.7 there okay 
So this would give me an X value of approximately 1.7. And if you put that into your calculator, 1.5 to the power 1.7, I actually get 1.99. So it is pretty much spot on. So it's a, a pretty well drawn graph, all in all. Um, let's now have a look at some sketches. So before we head into an example with sketches, I thought it's useful just to quickly have a little reminder of what this graph looks like, in case you're not sure or you can't remember them. So exponential graph, where we're looking at positive values, where A is positive, X is positive, is going to look something like this. It's going to start close to the x-axis and obviously as you go to, towards negative infinity it's heading towards this x-axis it's going to cross here at one if i've got a graph like this and then following on it will get steeper and steeper you know and this is in general what would happen for this type of graph obviously when we start putting in fractions and negative values it will affect this graph just like you know all of your transformations do but just getting a rough idea of how this graph would look I think will help so let's have a look at an example so here we have the function f of x is defined as f of x equals 2 to the power x on the same axis draw the graphs of so Let's start by putting a set of axes out. And there we have it. Now, being sketches, I want to avoid putting values on my graph as much as I can. Obviously, points of intersection I should put on, but everything else I will try and avoid. So we're going to start off with our first graph, which is y equals f of x. So again, it's just going to start close to the line, slowly increasing until it hits one. And then after that, it's going to go and get steeper and steeper and steeper. And there's my first graph, y equals f of x. Now, if I look at the second graph I want to draw here, y equals 3f of x, that means that I need to multiply or stretch all my y values by a factor of three. So my first graph crossed the line at one, the y-axis. My second graph is gonna cross it at three. So it's gotta be above it, but we're looking at something that's gonna be a very much similar shape. Okay, but it's just obviously it's gonna get steeper a bit quicker than the other one and then we're crossing at three now in terms of my f of x minus one my third one here which i'll put in red this should look the same as my original graph which is in blue but minus one would mean that we move down by one so we'd need to put in a asymptote which will obviously be at one on the y-axis or the graph y equals one, oh, sorry, negative one, or the graph y equals negative one. My graph will start off very much the same as this blue one. And essentially I'm just trying to follow the blue one. Yeah, so in a way it's parallel to this blue one and that's y equals f of x minus one and then finally four we've got a quarter x this is a stretch in the horizontal direction and that would essentially mean that i'm actually going to have the values underneath uh, my blue one still going to cross at the same point here but it's kind of like stretched out so they're gonna meet so 
so it cross off but it's basically it's going to should take four times as long in a way to get to the same kind of values it's not the best drawn graph i do apologize for that but hopefully you get a idea with these in an exam you probably wouldn't have this many graphs on one set of axes maybe the original plus two others would be a sensible number now then this type of sketch is quite a common one where you're looking at 2 to the power x, say, and a 3 to the power x, so where these base values differ. So let's start by drawing f of x equals 2x, and let's just get a rough one. And again, it's just as long as you get the shape right. I can write y equals 2 to the power x. And of course we go in through the value of 1 on the y-axis. Now, my second graph here, g of x, I'll do in black. And what you will notice is that the positive values of x is going to be larger. Like 2 to the power 1 is going to be 2. So if I think of it, you know, coordinates say of 1, x equals 1, value of 2. But when I go into this one, 3 to the power x, 3 to the power 1 is 3. So x equals 1, that's going to be 3. It's going to be higher up. And that's what I'm going to kind of get from here onwards. It's going to get steeper quicker because 3 to the power of increasing values of x, increasing positive values of x, is going to make this jump up quicker. Now, where I have to be careful and where a lot of people will make mistakes is within the negative values. So if I think of this one, 2 to the power minus 1 is a half. So at x equals minus 1, this is at a half. But on here, 3 to the power minus 1 is a third. A third is obviously smaller than a half, so this graph should be below my 2 to the power x graph. So coming on this side and the negative side, we're going to be essentially below my line. And that is, you know, quite a common sketching question where a lot of people will get it wrong. They will do, you know, both graphs, either, you know, say the y equals 3 to the power x. They might keep that above the other one all the way along and it's just something to be aware of now it's quite an easy start to this unit so just a couple of questions and as always i'll put the answers at the end of the video Now, don't forget when you start on this question, f of x equals 4 to the power x, everything's compared to that. That can look like an e of x graph or 2 to the power x. They'll all essentially look the same when it's just a sketch. So we have y equals k a to the power x. We have two coordinates and two unknowns. So it should be quite straightforward. Substitute them in. So 
y is 8 and we have k a to the power 1 and then 1 y is 64 with k a to the power 4. Now the best thing to do with these two equations is to do one divided by the other one. So I want to do equation 2 divided by equation 1. That will get rid of my k's and that's the best way to do this. So 64 is k a to the power 4 and it's 64 over 8 and k a to the power 4 over k a. And now you can see that I can cancel my k's. I can cancel one of these a's and also 8 will go into 64 8 times. So now I'll be left with 8 on the left of my equals and a cubed on the right. So taking the cube root of 8, that means that a is 2. Now that I know that, I can go to one of my equations and find the value of k. So from equation 1, as that's the easiest one, we've got 8 equals k times 2. So let's call that 2k. That will mean that k is 4. And there I have worked out both of my unknowns. Now, it's always worth doing a little double check in your other equation, just to make sure. So you've got y equals 4 times 2 to the power x. So just double check, you know, if I substitute the 4 in, 4 times 2 to the power 4, I get 64, which is what we expected. So you know we've done it right. Always worth doing that double check in the alternative or the extra equation. Short video today, but hopefully it did help you get started in this unit. And as always, if you have enjoyed it, hit a like. If you want to ask me some questions, just put something in the comments. If you want to say anything, just put something in the comments. I do try and get back to everyone within 24 to 48 hours in general. Okay, see you next video.